Hello everyone and welcome back. So for today's video, I'm creating a kind of classic glam. To start off, I'm actually going to show you how I just did my hair because why not? So I just put some oil in it and then I'm going to put a serum in it and this helps with, the serum helps with adding shine to my hair and then the oil is really good for my hair just since I'm leaving it up in a bun all day. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm taking this cute little brush from the body shop, little bamboo brush, and I am brushing out my hair to remove any knots. I already brushed out. I know you're not supposed to brush your hair when it's wet, but I do it anyway. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, so yeah, just brushing it out, getting it all smooth, and then I am taking, well, bunching it all up once I find hair elastic, and bunching it all up into a really high bun. So first off, I'm starting out putting into a really high ponytail, as you can see here. Sorry that my voice keeps cracking. Uh, it's morning. <laughs> and yeah, so put it all into a ponytail. And then you can sit back down and flip it over. There we go. <laughs> so before I move on, I... Or... Maybe I do before, but I think I put hairspray in, yeah. So I'm just smoothing down my little baby hairs with some hairspray. This hairspray has been kicking around for such a long time because I don't use it. <laughs> um, and then next I, I'm literally doing is taking my hair and wrapping it around the base onto itself and then securing the back with a pin. I'm just using a pin that I had uh, laying around I have to go get some bobby pins but I didn't want to go get them right now so I use, use the one pin to hold it in look at my bra showing <laughs> it's from Adore Me it's really nice <laughs> so this is the hair look so my skincare is all done and I'm starting off with some primer. Again, I usually don't use primer, but I was like, hmm, why not? Because I have it here. This is the Poreless Primer from AOA, and I don't know if it hides my pores any, but it help, I think it helps keep the makeup on. Maybe. And then this here is the Wet n Wild Stick Foundation. It, I used this in my last video, so feel free to head back over there and check that one out after I did a weird test and tried a couple other products. So after it's all blended out, I'm using the Drops of Glow from the Body Shop. These, well, I, I want to use this because I don't want to add any highlighter onto my skin. I want to go for more matte, but I still want to keep the glow from within. So I'm just applying this on top of my foundation, but it's going to go below all my powder. Ow. I just poked myself in the eye and it'll be blended out with concealer and a bronzer as well so this matte clay concealer from the body shop and using this to also reverse contour applying some my forehead the edges and all that stuff and then to blend it out i actually am taking the fresh nude foundation from the body shop i usually do this if my concealer is later and the struggle with this concealer is that there's only two shades that would match me this one or one that is actually my skin tone. So I go for the one lighter and blend it out with the foundation. Now I'm taking the Fresh Nude Foundation, but in a darker shade. I'm going to use this to bronze up the skin. So I'm just placing a couple dots on my forehead and the sides of my cheekbones, kind of like where I'd contour. And then I will be blending it upward to more onto the cheeks. And this helps to add more of a bronzy look. Oh, look at that skin. I was so happy with how my skin looked. <laughs> so I'm using some powder and to set my under eye and to bake, the powder is the 
hard candy sheer and be powder um yeah so just kind of like baking under my eyes but not really because i wipe it off once i apply all the powder putting on my chin the center of my forehead under my eyes just so things don't crease and move and i'll yes also my jawline too so i'm taking a big fluffy brush and blending all that powder out and onto the rest of the face to set the rest as well then i am using a face mist to kind of hydrate my skin again and then I'm using a setting powder this is to kind of set the skin to make it stay all day does it work I don't know I just did it anyway <laughs> my skin did look good all day and yeah so after I spray those just use the beauty blender to kind of marry it all into the skin and to make it look like your skin for the eyes it's super simple so I'm taking a well this LA color matte um, palette and I'm using just the uh, two shades from these actually. This one shade to deepen up my crease, which is kind of like the taupey shade. And then I'm going in with the cream shade and I'm gonna use that on my finger and apply that onto my eyelid. Because the shade isn't as pigmented as I wanted, I'm using the uh, white cream shade from the Hue to Beauty Warm Sessions palette and using that in my inner corner. And then I'm going to tight line with the eyeliner I actually used in my last video as well. That is very black and very, very hard to remove. <laughs> so using that in my tight line, only reason I'm doing that is because I want my lashes to look like, like, well, to look like my eyeliner everything is really together so i'm using the matte uh liquid eyeliner from my muse my tip to get a straight line is to use a straight edge hold it by the your outer corner of your eye and kind of like line it up it's a really good tip to get a straight line and like use it as a guideline to create the rest of your wing and so that both your wings are even along the edges my issue comes for the very tip of the wing, as you'll see soon, that I have to fix. Usually I make it too thick near the very end, so I have to go back and remove some eyeliner. Creating my wing is pretty simple. I just, you know, connect it down. I like to make the biggest part of my wing by my pupil when I'm looking straight. And that's kind of like the guidelines I follow. I can't really get much into it because I'm not a pro, and I just go for it. So I wasn't happy, so I'm just using some micellar water and a Q-tip and wiping off like the edge where again I said it was going to be too thick. Just so I can create a more narrow like line and like a sharp line. So I had to do that on both my eyes because I wasn't happy with either one. And yeah, that's about it. So just take your Q-tip, dot it onto the area where you want it to. And then use the dry side to remove the extra product. So I'm just using a little bit of a concealer brush um, with a little bit of foundation and applied it. Then using a um, brush to set it and go back in with the crease shade. So again, I'm trying again. I keep saying again, 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 again. <laughs> to fix my line. I always kind of like go back and forth and refer reference it from one eye to another because I find that's like pretty easy and like the simplest way to do it and like to make sure your wings match as well because nothing worse than having two odd wings and like trying to cover that up. <laughs> so I think I got it and I am moving on. I'm using this eyeliner in my waterline. I actually lost it. I'm not sure where it is. The link up above is from my um, haul video so you can go see which one it is and using the same shade I used in my crease just right below my um, lower lashes 
Now I'm using a brow powder in my brows, the same way I do my eyebrows like all the time. Nothing too crazy, I fill them in and then I go in with the brow mascara. This is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel. And just to set my brows down and to add some more dimension as well. That's the main reason I love using brow gels is the dimension and to make them look more natural. So if you haven't tried a brow gel, definitely do it and go for like a tinted one. Now I'm just using a mascara on my upper lashes just before I apply my false lashes, which are the Kiss Glow Lashes in Pixie 02, and I finally found out the name. I always kept losing the pack that they're in. I never knew what the name was until, well, I had to go repurchase them. I was like, guess that's them. <laughs> And before we actually apply the lashes, I am using a cream eyeshadow in my waterline. Just because I thought the white looked a little bit too, like, stark. So after my mascara is on, I'm going in with my lip liner, which is from the Body Shop in Red Siren. I haven't used this one in quite some time, so this is why I decided to pull it out and no, not sponsored by the Body Shop. Because <laughs> the next lipstick I am going in with is actually from the Body Shop as well. They're matte, lip, uh, matte lipstick, but unfortunately they discontinued these and I don't know why because I love them so much. So I'm going on top of that lipstick with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Amsterdam. I just want to use this because it added a little more of like a blue tone compared to like the bright oranginess that like the Body Shop one gave. But either way, they're both beautiful. Using a blush, this is Kindle from AOA. And again, be careful with applying it. So this is the final look and I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!